or the bathing suit for guys. They got the shorts of that. So they got bikinis. What? Wait a minute. Hold on. Have I ever seen oh, any man. videos of these bikinis? <laughs> every day, every day. That's the algorithm. Tricks the algorithm. It gives me a thousand something views on my story every day. I'm like, Smart. I'll stick Smart with man. it for sure. But yeah, so it's super easy to do. You can order the clothing online through the website, titanmedicalcenter.com, or you, if you see something you like, just call us because we pretty much got everything in stock, except for these shirts. I've got those shirts that Mike's got in stock, a couple other different colors of that, variations, tank tops, T-shirts, stringers, hoodies, lightweight hoodies. Here's a side effect, too. I, I, I think you guys, if you guys are out there and you're a health and fitness person or you're just out there and you want to build your page, walking around with a little Titan Medical on your chest and then tag them, They'll repost that story and, and boom, your page just doubled. So absolutely, that's also another little hidden gem for you guys out there that want to look jacked. Yes, yes. And women. You know, it's not all about just feeling good, right? Looking good too comes with that. And, you know, clothing out there makes you feel good, look good too as well. All Only high quality, high standard. And everything that we do across the board, the clothing, the therapies, the patient care, it's all got to be the highest and highest of standard. I love that. I love that. We got some good questions for you, Johnny. We're going cool. to load these up. I kind of went over some of these earlier, but I think I really would like them to hear your sure. take on this. Yeah, man. What we got? What we got? We roll. Let's get back to the back, up to the beginning here. Uh, let me start here All with right. this bad boy. It says, hi, Mike. Could you please explain what you mean with isolate with heavy weight? I know you don't mean doing isolation exercise with heavyweight, but how would you describe it? So I isolate think, with heavyweight. I kind of explained my philosophy behind it, but I got to ask you, you're somebody that still benches and, and some good weight and some inclines, and you have some shoulders that are less than ideal right now, Absolutely. and that's life. Yeah, that's what it is. It happens to everybody. And you're yeah. doing some uh, BPC and some TB500 yeah. to yeah. help with your shoulders. Just a side note to everybody else that's listening to this. Every single day. So shoulders are not the greatest. He still does the peptides to help those, mm -hmm. but he still does the work to get blood into there to heal as best he can. Absolutely. So I mean, when you lift, are you, because of the situation, do you slow it down a little bit or are you still just gung ho momentum? What what is what no. is the concept for you when you lift now? I mean, right now it's about control, right? Because if I start throwing it around, bad things can happen when you start throwing it around. So I just like the controlled reps. Um, you know, I try to do the, the three second rule, three seconds up, three seconds down. If I get two a half going down, then that's all right. But I kind of stick to that. And I think slower movements will help. If you have an injury, because you you can kind of control it a little bit more, you're not like, oh, I'm just doing explosive. If it's lighter weight, like I'll, so I progressively go up in like a pyramid. Like today, I did chest and back, right? I don't know. I did biceps and triceps today. But when I did that, I, even in, in biceps and triceps, I'll go up progressively. But what I do in my, my, my chest day is like I'll go over to the bench, uh, not the bar, but just like a bench. And then at that point, I'll grab dumbbells. I like doing dumbbells more than I like doing the bar now because the way my shoulders are aligned, it's not just having a bad shoulder on the right side. And I think that this also has something to do with it. But in 2006, I had a motorcycle accident. And when I went down on my motorcycle, I hit my shoulder. And when I hit my shoulder, it popped my collarbone. So it broke my collarbone. Collarbone, it, it healed like this. The only time they do a, a plate and, and align it back is if it's a compound fracture that goes through the skin. And they all they say that it's better and stronger if your bone mends like this than putting a plate in there for some reason. I don't know. But what it's done is it's adjusted my shoulder to be lower, a lot lower. They say your right shoulder can be lower if you're right-handed, but mine's a lot. So I don't know if that has something to do with it too as well with the bar and just having to, to redo it. But with the dumbbells, I can literally, I'm, I'm more stable, I, I feel like. And you're using stabilizing muscles too, more with the barbells than you are with the bar, I guess, right? I mean, at that point, the dumbbells, right? The, yeah. You're having to stabilize and you're pushing up. So 
I think you get more effect like I do anyway. And that, that just a little bit easier for me. Can I go to a bench and throw up the bench? No problem. For sure. Do I feel more comfortable with the barbells going heavier? Absolutely. Like I, I'm literally like, I threw up like the hundred pound dumbbells. That's what I've been doing. I'm scared to go by myself and go any higher. I didn't get the weight up. I just don't want anything to give out on me. Just need just in case. Right. But I'm very comfortable living, lifting that heavy weight as hundred pound dumbbells in each hand. I flip them up on my knees get up and then I get the momentum to push up. Right. And then at that point, like I'm just smooth sailing, smooth sailing. My target reps are between 10 and 12. I know I don't like to put a number on something like that. So if I think I can do more, I'm going to do more. If I think I can do 14, I'm going to do 14. I won't go any crazier than that. Cause I know I'm going to have another set after that possibly. And then the four sets, obviously I, I cut down to half the weight or whatever the maximum was and blow it out of the water with that. Do 25 to 35 reps if you can get that in i'd like to go for 50 if i can do that it's a lot of work i mean i might be over trained or not trained maybe to optimal levels like i should but that's what gets me and that's you know i mean that's what i've been doing so i'm just trying to stick with what works but obviously i'm open-minded if somebody has a if somebody has a better technique that i trust like mike or somebody else like that then i might take that in consideration like hey listen let me try this and see how it goes as long as I don't hurt, I'm, I'm game for anything. I, you killed it. You killed the answer beautifully because of the fact that I explained my, my philosophy on moving heavy ass weight in a compound movement, but it's isolated. And you, right. you established that right there because you take a moment to three seconds counts on the negative three on the positive. You don't just explode through. And right. the secondary is that there it's not ideal shoulders that you want, but you still do it. And so that's what I speak about, about being safe, still can doing it, uh, still yeah. going in there and doing it just for anybody here that when I talk about isolating those big moves. And again, I fully understand that there's a lot of guys out there that says, you you know, when you're stacking it or this or that, you can't isolate. Of course you can. Yeah, you you can. can always mind a muscle connect and you can always for push sure. through it in that way. And that's the biggest thing we talk about. Mind and muscle connection, intensity, right? And then safely lifting. Like, that's the other thing. That's the other part of it. You need to safely lift because it does no good for you to be egotistical or whatever you want to call it. Just, I, I, I'm going to do this. And then you hurt yourself and then you start regressing back because you made a stupid error that you probably shouldn't have did. And it just is thrown by the wayside. I see it all the time. Like, people around other guys and they're like, oh, I'm going to do this. And then they do it. And like, something happens. They pop a you know, tendon or something happens real bad usually. So, Try to just stick to what's safe and, and, and try to keep moving up. Well put, brother. Thanks, dude. Jeffrey. I appreciate it. All right. It said, uh, I had a successful surgery, and now I'm on the road to recovery. What do you recommend about diet, vitamins, and minerals, et cetera? So obviously, listen, you just got done with surgery. The BBC-157 and TB-500, the healing peptides, will help you heal faster. And that is a big component to my regimen and a lot of other patients' regimen. One, that have went through surgeries and healing faster. Two, even with the wound to heal faster where they cut you. That's a big thing too as well. Now, what else can you optimize in here? Now, you could start looking at maybe your, your levels of, of hormones and see like where your testosterone's at. You look like a gentleman that might be his 40s or up. I don't know. But at that point, that's something you should definitely look at because that can take a toll on your body not healing as fast as it should too. It doesn't have everything it should. It's not optimal. And at that point, it's not the best environment for your body to go through it. That's one thing to look at. But I would start looking at maybe some GHRH peptides too as well, or even IGF-1, because we know raising IGF-1 levels and producing more of your natural growth hormone will help you heal faster and heal better. So at that point, this is something I think that would be, it would be very, very, uh, I mean, it would be a good thing to definitely add on as far as that for surgery. Any acute or chronic pains, that's always my go-to. Um, that was one thing. So when I went to my orthopedic and my orthopedic did, you know, he did the x-ray and then he did an MRI and he see it. He's like, oh my God, he's like, your shoulders are like 60 something year old guy. Like, I can't believe this. And I told him when I was doing still, cause he, he trains every day, which is awesome. And he's like, man, he's like, you're doing this still with, with the way your shoulders are like, absolutely and i started talking to him about the healing peptides and he really didn't know too much about it he's been practicing for over 30 years so he's an old school doc when i started telling him this is like i'm gonna start looking into it when i went back to him 
he actually referred me to patients of his as well because he's like man he's like i seen what the result you have and hopefully this will help them too as well maybe get past some time without surgery or whatever it is so they came on and that's been really good i mean he put our cards like at his front desk which i'm like I'm, that's i'm like super I'm super happy about it. i'm like man that's awesome i mean to get natural referrals is just a great thing and for people to believe me the other portion of it is this if you have an injury like a shoulder injury a knee injury whatever it is and like, let's say it's like a rotator cuff pro problem or to label them you want to build the muscle around that area as much as possible to hold it in place and keep it tight that's what that's what he said he's like that's literally probably what's saving you right now he's like you've got so much muscle around that area that it's keeping intact he's like because normal people are not like that and it just they just pop out of the socket and things start happening there i'm like oh man so that is one thing i can say Build up as much muscle muscle as possible on your body, especially around the aging, the nagging parts of its shoulders or knees or whatever it is. Uh, I'm going to say the same, pretty much similar to what he just said. I think you're um, above 30, so I would do blood work. I'd find out to see if uh, everything is healed up uh, um, and make sure that you're good to go there and your body's functioning correctly inside. It's going to help on the outside. And then the second thing I would do is I would start one thing at a time. I would start making sure to fix if there is something wrong with the inside engine and, and then talk to the providers at uh, Titan Medical. But then the second thing is I would just start the nutrition. I would just start to build a discipline with your nutrition. Absolutely. Your nutrition's on point. Your body inside's working. You give that a couple of weeks, you're already going to change just by eating right and living your life. And then add in the exercise from there and your supplementation. Um, yeah. My recommendation, key, especially if you have to go through a surgery, we know yeah, that you don't need to rush. I think everybody rushes. Everybody January first, it's it's fasting or diet or low carbs. It's treadmill. It's blasting it. It's like great. You're going to be solid for a week, and then done. It, your body changes and adapts. So stay smart, stay ahead of it, stay ahead of it, adapting to you. And that's, that's the real point there. Yeah. Congrats. Cool. Welcome back. Crush it. Yes. Now with CPC, is that something that somebody who's recovering from surgery would do just for a short period of time while they're still in pain? Or is that something yeah. that you continue to do afterwards? So obviously you want to do it like right afterwards to help heal. And then obviously, you know, hopefully it'll take away some of the pain and inflammation. Um, you can do it afterwards for sure. Absolutely. It's more of a preventative too as well that nothing else happens or it's getting some of the blood flow to that area and maybe something else is going on there. I don't know. So yeah, you, you should definitely use it while you're going through the recovery process. And if you want to continue on afterwards, that's not a bad idea at all, right? You're being more preventative about things. And as we get older, right, more things are going to break down. I mean, well, you have a higher probability of things breaking down i'm not going to say everybody does but you have a higher probability of easy on that get. easy on that come on hey man you're defining right what here. can i say sitting what right here I dog say, dude? you know you are not the average human being as far as that goes there were five words chronological age there we just, go there we doesn't go compute does not compute <laughs> you know it's just it's crazy so i mean yeah i mean listen stellar example here right i mean Mike, literally, in his 50s, balling out of control, like has a body that 20-year-olds can't even achieve if they even tried. Because most of them, you know, it's not all about genetics, but he's got great genetics. But he's been working his whole life, too, as well. And you got to take that into consideration. Somebody's been doing something for that long, it's just like anything else. If I was doing TRT from 14 years old to all the way up to now, I mean, I really have everybody whooped. I got everybody whooped now, to, I think, in my mind. But I wish I, I, wish I was that smart. That's not all I wish. I wish it was like 14, I was already jacked. So when I started 10, and I'm that smart, know how to do it for that long. Great. I mean, but hey, man. In the 70s, see, what we did in the 70s, I. Uh... <laughs> you know what you should do? You should do like a, 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 a sequence of videos. What we did in the 70s, what we did in the 80s, what we did in the 90s, and just see the difference of that. That would definitely be, I would definitely watch it. See what the hell went on. What would the difference be? That'd be the most boring video because 
I do the same shit I did in the 70s, in the 80s, the 90s. It's what's funny is like that I know the basic. It is, it's just the most basic stuff done every single day gets the most benefit. It's not the But you're missing the secret sauce, secret word. Just it's need- consistency. It's one of those things. How many people can do it? And I've got to say, though, it. this last year, though, I, I feel, man, um, I, I just I finished up I, the projects where I had to be just ridiculously in shape for yeah. and still in shape. But I get to do that off season now yeah, and uh, introduce carbohydrates back into the system and try to build those things up. But, man, this last couple of weeks. Now, it's not because of this last couple of weeks that I feel so good. Mm-hmm. But it's how I survived this last year. And that's from Titan Medical helping me survive in the worst situation possible. I don't yes. think anybody should always be in a deficit like I was this last year for doing all these movies. I'm walking around at that percentage. It's not great for your body, especially at my stage. It's not great. But what's cool is Titan Medical goes, all right, you need to be out there. You need to be in the game going. So, yeah. EPC, um, the, the Tessa Moreland at night, um, the, the uh, just all the aspects, the aminos, the Hercules, all those aspects that kept me together and in the fight. Yep. Now we're going to pay dividends that I'm, what I talk about, get back to a surplus of calories, let your body heal up. Holy mm-hmm. sheesh. The, the, like I said, the strength is going ridiculous. Everything in the body just feels amazing. And so when somebody says, well, how do you feel? I feel unreal. I feel like a superhero. I'm getting back to that Mike O'Hearn, 30 years old, going, I want to wrestle it. a bear. I want to yes. freaking wrestle. And some of the guys I roll with, he's 6'4", 300 pounds. They're the size of bears. So it's fun. And it's it's it just feels – thank you. At the end of the day, I just want to say thank you to Titan Medical and, and Big Johnny oh, for, for keeping me together. Yeah when I had to push it to that level and now that I get, I get to uh, pay the, the dividends pay now. And, and so when I talk to you guys and I, and I say that uh, try to be in a surplus of calories, try to let the body heal, try to make sure your numbers are good. This is all great. And I understand life gets crazy. People work, things happen, but the hardship is going to set you up when everything's flowing that you get to just dominate. Yeah. I guess that's yeah, the best way to say it. I feel like I'm dominating now. That's that's how you should feel, man. Optimal and dominating. That is that is what at this stage about. But at I this at closing in on 60, it's like you feel But that's well. what I'm saying. That's where you're killing it. Like that's like if everybody could have that and everybody should want that, like that's where you should be at. It really should be. I mean, listen, the advances and all the different things as long as I, you're such a it's such a rare thing with you Mike so I can't like you can't like say it's just the masses but I just see even the small percentage of people that they're in the fitness industry or they have a great body like that doesn't last a lifetime in a lot of them and a lot of them aren't consistent with what they do and that shows over time right like one point in time they're so dice and look this but every other time you see them they do not look like that and then as time goes on like other things get to the wayside and they start putting other things prioritized over their training or their nutrition or whatever it is. And then just, you know, I guess, uh, just, you know, get rotund. Yeah, Nobody wants that. out there that thinks, and, and somebody said this earlier, and I know that he was like 62 or 66 and he said that he's a busy schedule and he does a couple body parts a day and stuff. Uh, first of all, congrats to anybody over 40 that's in there and pushing it. Right. But, um, the whole point of me saying this is that in no world is you taking care of your health, you going to the gym, you making sure that your blood markers are healthy, you being selfish to making sure that's the fundamental first thing in the morning, your health, I got to train, I got to do this, is a selfish thing. In no world, you're basically doing, you're keeping your engine going. You're making sure that you can fire it. For me, I'm a father, and I want to be able to tussle with this kid. I want to at least be able to go out and play with this kid. And, and it was funny because I'm sitting there watching uh, some people I know, and, and our son was there, and 
I'm looking at these 35 to 40 year old parents, very young, young, 35s. It's a young, yeah. it's moderately young parent. Yeah. <clears throat> Sitting, couldn't get up, couldn't play, couldn't go out and throw the football, couldn't play the soccer ball, couldn't do anything. They're just sitting there. And I'm like, holy shit. This world has really changed from our day. Big time. And I'm seeing Mona out there doing flag football with these guys and taking Titans flag going, you, you know, uh-uh, I don't yeah. play that, <laughs> you know? And I'm yeah. sitting there going, she's almost 50 and she's freaking running circles around these 30 year olds. It's like, you guys got to take care of yourselves. You got to, you can't be already at this stage of the game and not even playing with your kids or, or working like that. And if it's, if it's like that, then the work is also suffering. Yeah. Oh, for sure. For sure. Everything is at that point. I mean, I, I really hate to say it. I mean, I was, I just did a skit or I did a, a voiceover. It was like, you know, like, I get questions all the time, like, you know, where should I put my money at? I'm like, well, you should put your money in your body because in your, without your health, you have nothing. So you have no wealth without health. So at that point, like, make sure you're optimized and guarantee you feel better, you're performing better. You're performing better not just in your relationship per se, but you're performing better at your job. You're more awake. You're more in tuned. You might have better mental clarity. At that point, you're more outgoing and you can make more sales or be more personal with people if you need to. Just as what it is. A lot of these things reflect from your health and feeling good. If people feel good. They're in good, you know, they're in a good attitude. They're in a good space. If they feel bad. They're like, oh, like, don't bother me. Like, I don't want to do this. I hate showing up here. Like, you don't want to be like that. Like, it sucks. Like, I know people that go through that every single day and I see them. I'm like, why are you just like continuing on like this? But you, you see, really the have it. Too. you see that you see the half the, I wish more people would see this. And I think social media is out there. And it's a great thing that you see these 40 year olds and, and you, they got their 20 year old self that's out of shape and fat. And then they're at 40 looking incredible. And I wish just everybody knows that it's never too late to get out there and crush it and get in the best shape of your life. And you yeah. see this. Tell us some yeah. success stories that you've seen. I mean, I've seen people lose 100 and plus pounds, right, on some of our programs. I've seen people totally recomp their whole body. Like, you know, like uh, one guy that won our Titan Transformation Challenge three years ago. I still follow him today. And from where he went to where he is now, I mean, it's totally night and day. You wouldn't even think it's the same person. And it's just super cool to see these things because, you know, when people change like that, it's a drastic change. It changes their life. It changes their outlook on things. And it, it just, it improves things around them and it will improve people around them too in a lot of different ways of just motivating other people. And that's the biggest thing that I tell people, I'm like, listen, you're getting the results for yourself and the people around you. And they're like, what do you mean by the people around me? I'm like, because they're going to see your results and they're going to want those results. And I see it all the time with the couples. I'm like, listen, if a guy comes to us and he's like, you know, he's all down, whatever. We get them all riled up and ready to go. Engine's going at hundred percent. Then the partner's like, Hey, I want to feel like that. Cause I'm not feeling like that. And I see what he's doing. So it's a motivation factor, but I've seen total recomps. Like, like I said, over hundred plus pounds. I mean, that's a lot of weight. That's a person guys, you know, and at that point, like that's just ridiculous. If I've seen somebody go from 25% body fat down to 12% body fat in a, I don't know, it was like eight month time span. I was like, holy shit. I mean, it might not seem like a lot, but 10% body fat losing that, like that's an accomplishment, even if it was over eight months. They didn't do any semi-glutide or tirzepatide, which you can lose a lot more weight with a lot quicker. They wanted to do a more slower rate and recomp and build more muscle. So they did that. And it was just awesome when they did. So super cool to see. And there's so many different tools that we have to get you the different result. Well, you want to build lean more muscle mass. You want to lose weight, whatever you want to do. Like that's what we're here for. All right. Does Titan have a GLP-1 product with a GH peptide? So just so you guys know out there, Carson, they do not, any U.S. licensed pharmacy does not make a GLP-1 and a GH peptide together in the same vial. You can get them separately. So you can get a GLP-1, like semi-glutide or tirzepatide. And then if you want a GH peptide, like tessamorelin, CJC with iparelin, hexarelin, then you can get that too. The only combination of peptides that are together in the same vial our CJC 1295 and Iperone. That is it. Otherwise, you're not going to see it from a U.S. licensed pharmacy. They just don't do it. Wow. It's good to know. It's good to know.
Yeah. Any advice for recovering from minor tendon injury? So this goes back to BBC and TB500. I don't know how many like uh, inquiries we get about chronic pain, acute pain, tendon, shoulders. I mean, just I just talked to a, a patient that was checking out today. He's got a whole bunch of elbow issues. Not tennis elbow, not golf, but he's got these other issues surrounding there. So he start with BBC 157, TB500. I, I, hopefully he'll get a good result too because most people that have those injuries like that get a great result and relief from the healing peptide. So I would look into BPC 157 and TB 500. All right, John, I'm about to get Titan blood work done. Should I wait a certain amount of time between taking HRT and getting the test done? So if you ever have a question about this and not to Mary, cause I'm going to answer Mary's question about this right away. That's what our staff is here for that. You can call or text them and they're going to give you a response right away. But since you got me, Mary, of course, I'm going to help you out and talk to you about anything you want. So at that point, with HRT for women, if you're on a trochee, you're going to want to take that half a trochee before you go get blood. So at that point, when you wake up in the morning, if you're going to go get your blood, you know, done at like 8 o'clock in the morning, you wake up at 6, take it like 6, 630, go on your way. Because we want to see where that testosterone is leveling off at in the afternoon or when you get the blood test taken after you've taken it. With guys, it's different. We would tell guys to wait three to four business or three to four days, not business days, three to four days after taking their last injection to getting their blood test. The reason, the reason is, is because, because we usually have patients split doses three days apart. So usually it's Monday, Thursday, Tuesday, Friday. But what happens is, is that Monday, they take the injection of the split dose. Now, when they go take their blood test three days later, that's going to be the, at the point in time where they need their next injection. So we're going to see right where it's at, like right where the fall off is at, right where it's even at. And at that point, we can say, hey, listen, this is looking good and this is looking bad. We can, we can really, really decide from that. So it's a little bit different between guys and girls, but if you're a girl and you're taking trophies, if you're taking injectable testosterone through Titan Medical Center and you're a female, there are a small amount of females that do. We like to put them through the trochee or cream first just to see how that affects because injectable testosterone can be not even abused intentionally, but on accident, injecting a little bit too much than you should have. For a guy, no problems, right? You might have a little bit more conversion in estrogen. For a girl... There can be issues. Like when you, you, your testosterone goes up, a lot of females, when they get their testosterone, it rises way above where it should, like at a male's level. They feel really good, right? They feel more energetic. They have the libido. They have the drive. But their levels are too high. And sustain those levels are too high, cause negative side effects that a lot of females don't want. And at that point, deepening the voice, clitoral enlargement, and hair in different places, the more they want it. I know one girl, she was on pellets with this other place. She came over to us. Because she was like a house mom and just wanted to feel good. And they said these pellets were going to do everything for her. So she inserted the pellets. And at that point, her second time around, she started noticing side effects. I'm like, well, what side effect did you start noticing? So I started getting hair in places I usually didn't get it. I'm like, well, if you don't mind, can you share where, where are you getting on your face? Because that's the most common. Like females don't want hair on their face. And some automatically get the mustache and stuff like that already. So at that point, she told me, she's like, I'm actually getting some chest hair. I'm like, holy shit. I'm like, you're getting chest hair? And she's like, yeah. I'm like, wow. I've seen it a couple of times. I ain't going to lie, guys. I, but I, I'm like, I'm like, just wowed. I'm like, oh, my God. She's like, yeah. She's like, it's very embarrassing. Very embarrassing. I was like, oh, my God. I'm sorry. So, you know, you do it. You kind of can. She's going to get laser hair remover and get it out like that, I guess, and just be done with it. But she transferred over. But that's something that could go wrong. And that's something that a lot of people out there are not educated on like we are, right? They don't know what some of these things do. They go to the doctor and they trust what the doctor says because they're like, listen, I have blind faith in the doctor. Like even with me, when we're growing up, doctors, teachers, right? Police officers, they're authoritarian figures. You listen to what they have to say. You follow the directions. That is what it is. So a lot of people think like that with doctors or providers. And sometimes the providers don't have their best. Um, they, don't, they don't have you know what, what's best for the patient in hand. Got a good one on here too. All right. What exactly is Hercules Potion? Great question, Mr. Elite Entertainment. 
Hercules Potion is a signature amino acid blend from Titan Medical Center. What does it have? It has nine different components, nine different things. Let's list them off real quick and go through it fast. Glutamine, recovery, arginine, L-citrulline, vasodilators, massive pump, long-lasting pump. Ornithine, anti-fatiguing, do more reps, do more strenuous activity, get a better result. NAC, great for liver functions. You might have some problems with that because your liver is your filter in your body. Take care of it. The other thing, proline, collagen-based amino acid. You want to make sure you're producing more collagen. This could be a benefit for your shoulders or elbows or other joint areas too as well. Okay. Then we go down to taurine. Great for brain function. That's why Red Bull puts it in there. And great for cramping. So take taurine with it. The other thing is L-carnitine. L-carnitine is great for building muscle, nervous system, and overall general health. Nine different components, nine different things that are going to help you out with Hercules Potion on one little injectable. And once you experience the pump, you will never experience anything like that again, I promise you. No blood work's needed for it either. All right, so David Fedrick said, you were mentioning blood work. I recently did it, and I wanted to ask what markers to focus on when results come back. Did you do blood work through us, David? That's my first question. If you did, we're going to go over those markers with you briefly. And if you want to go over them more in depth with a medical provider, we can set that up very simple, very easy, and you can understand and ask the questions on what you want to. If you didn't get it through us, when I would look at markers, depending on what blood test got ran on that full in-depth lab test that you got, supposedly, then I would look at a couple different things. Now, really depending on what's going on with you, if everything's good in general health, you want to look at, obviously, everything because everything really does count to a certain extent. But if I had to pick some certain things on a CMP, your liver, your kidneys, make sure they're good, right? Look at your thyroid, make sure that's good. T3, T4, thyroid stimulating hormone. I'll look at cholesterol too, because that does run a factor of some different things. Um, obviously, free and total testosterone. These are big markers to look at. Estradiol is a male, progesterone and IGF-1. I think those are vital markers to look at too as well. I didn't mention B12, which I think is a big one too, but if you had to ask me like, what should I focus in on? Then that's what I would focus in on. The other thing is complete blood cell count. Look at red blood cell count, hemoglobin, hematocrit, and white blood cell count. This will tell you a whole bunch of different things. That's what I'd focus on. The only thing I'd add to the layman's person that maybe doesn't know how to read the uh, blood work is... Uh, look for anything that's marked off anything that's high or low that uh, they mark which so, is a great thing that they do that and it shows you yes and then and a lot of people don't, they don't learn. do that either they look at labs they don't they don't they don't see the the h or l and the because some labs are different than others but like like quest or lab corp they all have like an h and they'll have like an arrow pointing up if it's real bad it'll be an alert and it'll be in total red of like alert We've got those too, like on sugar levels we've got them before and cholesterol levels and triglycerides we've got. Man, them. I never thought about this, but I, I so agree that where you do your blood work, it's so easy to read. When uh, I just did my family doctor and, yeah. and uh, you know, they sent that over and the way they do it, man, yeah. you're, you're there for hours trying to see everything and look at everything. It's just it's so poorly done instead of just the... Here's here's your list. I, I yeah. don't know why it's such a. Because yeah. uh, they I don't just, use LabCorp probably. They use their own. They don't use. They use some little lab that they draw the blood in office probably send it out and they get the results back and it's like that. Terrible. That's why we don't use some of those labs. Yeah, it, it, the way you do it is just it's so simple, so understandable, and then also it just uh, again just I'm still I'm years into this and I'm still learning and learning. Um, one thing works with another and another and another, yeah. not just off of one thing. It's like, it's, it's cool to talk about it yeah. when, when you start to understand how the body's function, why is this up here? Why is this over here? Well, this could be because of this, this is why you see this and this works off of it. It's a cool thing. I love the body. I think the body is an amazing thing and it really wants to keep you healthy. Yeah. It was, you I mean, know, yeah, at the end of the day, your body wants to fight off anything and it wants okay, to fight off. And so watching how the blood works to fight off if you have a cold or sickness or yeah. injury or, or or you're training too much and it tells you all these things. It's really a cool book. You get a book on Atlas when you get that blood work of what your body is telling you you're doing right 
yep. and where you're a moron. <laughs> yep. It really does. And I think it's awesome that you can do that and dissect it and go, I'm, 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 you're given what you're given. You know, you know that we have a lot of people yeah. here that have these issues that that yeah. just it is life. That's how it works out. Yeah. Um, and so it's cool to see that you guys really take the time to help these people out. So for you guys at home and before we jump onto this, sure. I, I told somebody yesterday and I was talking to him. I was trying to have this conversation. I said, you know, where you're at now is is, you know, I think that you should do some peptides, amino peptides, fancy word for amino acids. Yeah focused on your ligaments because the gentleman's in his fifties and I would like him to keep his ligaments healthy. Um, does not want to, does not want to, uh, doesn't believe he needs it. Okay. And Jeff made a great point. I'll let him say it, but I just want to give you a little scenario here to see if you can help out a bit. Sure. Um, also spoke about, and again, this is so cool. And I got a lot of friends like this that are in their 50s and 60s that have these testosterone numbers that are amazing. 100% natty, you know, and you can see that because of the free testosterone. Right. These guys are at that 900, that 7 to 9 to 1,000 T level without doing anything. But their free T is at this 9 and 10. So, again, you got this great engine that could work off all this stuff, but it's it just it's not – getting into that free testosterone and making it util utilizing it right so my point was i think it, you're at the stage now that to live your best life you should do some hcg or clomid or something like that to get that free testosterone going because i would rather you have a t level of five or six hundred and your free testosterone is working at a, a pinnacle level yeah um and but like I said, yeah, some people get stuck on that number, though. They yeah, the, no, it wasn't even the number. It wasn't the thousand. It was. It was. It was more the. I don't need that. I don't need any of that. And I'm like, okay, but your body's telling you, well, yeah. I'm better than this person and this person and this person. I'm like, well, that doesn't make sense. You can't compare. That's your first mistake. Compare yourself to others. That make I'm confused. Completely right. confused now because right. you just threw it off. You can, no human can compare themselves to another human in that sense. Um, I mean, so yeah, we can compare. We can compare ourselves to like eighty percent of the the United States, and we're probably in the top twenty percent physically. Uh, okay, that's great. Like, but I don't work for that. I work for my own goals, my own personal. Like, that's why I've never went on the stage or anything like that. Like, I wasn't looking for people's attention and, and to like beat everybody. Like, uh, like my physical look. I wanted to be was I want to be dominant. I want to be dominant in so many different ways yeah, for myself. That's your question you did you know, earlier. It's, you it is what it is. So it, at that point, like, you know, I, I think that if people need it, why not use it? If I told you that that same person, okay, you have uh you have a real high cholesterol, right? You need to take cholesterol medication, or it's gonna, you know, it's gonna downgrade your health and performance. And like, well, I don't want to take that. Well, why? Well, I don't want to take cholesterol medication. Okay, well, you've tried to change your diet. You've tried to exercise. You've tried to do these things. It's kind of like the same thing. Like, do you want to improve your quality of life or not? Do you want to get better or not? Because you're only going to move two ways. And that's forward or backward. There is no stagnant or maintenance because if you're stagnant, you're moving backwards just at a slower rate. So at that point, you want to move forward. And if, I see this all the time. Like, I'm sure you get, I know you've got a million times, Mike. But it's like, I don't need that, right? I, I'm, I'm good. Like, I'm like, well, are you? And then if they are, great. But if they're not, then why are you giving yourself, why are you disservicing yourself from getting better? Like, just because it's a medication. I, I mean, I really go over that tons and tons with people. Like, testosterone and everything like that like you're taking steroids that's why you look the way you do your job i'm like that's great but if you took steroids if you took testosterone per se would you look the exact same as me are you doing all the work are you training are you eating are you being consistent with things and they're not right and they're not going to look the same and they can take the exact same medication as me so really it's like you know if you want to be better you're going to do the things that get you better Right. And if you want to be healthy, that's the other point of it, because it's not all about the aesthetic look and the result. It's about health. Now, that's the number one priority. I don't care if you look like a sack of potatoes. If you are healthy on the inside and you're healthy going forward, I'm not going to get on your ass about it. 
But majority of the time, when you look like a sack of potatoes, the body is going to reflect on the inside to a certain degree. And if it isn't at that point, it will over time. Do you run into a lot of people where they have that pride and ego? And it's like, like you have all these amazing treatments and medications and you have the blood work and you, you can see them and say, hey, yeah. I know that's a great thing you said about if you're not moving forward, you're moving backwards. Right. But you have those people that still fight you like, oh, I'm better than the medication John has. <laughs> Uh, you know, I, I, I tell those two people two different things, right? One thing is, hey, listen, great. You don't need this. Please go do yourself. If you need help in the future, I'll be here for you. All right? So contact me. Gotcha, right? No pressure situation. I'm not pressuring anybody to get on any therapy or use Titan Medical Center. I am giving you education, knowledge, and giving you your best option on the table if you do use us. And if you do use us, then we're pretty much going to, Make sure that your health is number priority, get you dialed in, and get you the results you're looking for. But at that point, like I run across people all the time. It's it's kind of different, I guess, of why they are hesitant. One is, I mean, growing up, if you're 40 years old, I think you grew up during the area where steroids, baseball, cheating, all this other shit. And at that point, like it's not cheating if you're using it for a medical purpose. And I tell it to people all the time, like if you need it, then you can use it and you should. If you don't need it, then you shouldn't use it. So at that point, it's just like, you know, what are we doing here? The other thing is, is that they've never done any injections before. They're scared of side effects. They're scared of these negative stereotypes they've heard throughout the years. Am I, I've got this question like this week when I wrote people, if I take testosterone, is it gonna be healthy for me? Yes. Am I going to have any heart issues because of taking testosterone? No. As long as you're monitored correctly and you're taking the correct doses and everything is good, you're going to be great. There's actually literature for cardiovascular health and improving cardiovascular health with testosterone. So that's a big point. But yeah, you're, I've got these guys all the time where they're really hesitant. And sometimes they'll go with a more natural route, like in clomiphene or ACG. They'll start feeling good and then they understand like what feeling good feels like and they're like damn like i want to feel better than this like will testosterone make me feel a little bit better than what i'm on and honestly yes you're going to feel a little bit of difference from clomiphene and testosterone which is, is what it is and then once they finally reach that point they know they understand and there's no question about it whatsoever so you know it's i think it's just getting people through that hump and getting them through maybe insecurities of injecting or testosterone or all these different treatments that maybe they've had narrow, narrow, negative stereotypes about um, coming up. I mean, but that's how I deal with them. I try to turn it around for them, give them the options, no pressure situation, but eventually they will come around. A lot of people like to do research, go out and research all you want. Research to, to, to the cows come home. And if you have more questions, call me up and then we'll talk about it. And then we'll, we'll decipher what's true and what's not. For everybody here, go read this article that Frank Garillo uh, just did. I'm not sure where uh, he did that article. Jeff will, will get the name of it. But he just did a beautiful statement. And again, Frank Garillo is almost 60 years old, a huge actor. Um, he's in the yeah. new Superman coming up, um, which is going to be phenomenal. Um, and he's also in The Peacemaker. Uh, he's going to play John Cena's dad, from what I understand. Yeah. But he also fights. I've seen him. I see him in a movie this weekend. Which one did you see? He, he's in a movie called Werewolves. Oh yeah, the main yeah. character. You, Jonathan yeah. Sheck was in that too, and yeah. a couple of. Yeah. I had like three or four yeah. friends in that one. Yeah, um, I seen that, and then I watched Creature Commandos, which he's the voice of Rick Flag Senior, because that's a DC movie, and that's why he's playing Rick Flag Senior in live action. I it's love super it. cool. DC's got continuity where. If you play the animated actor and voice, you're going to play the live action one too. So, well, this guy looks like a superhero. I mean, he oh, really does. I mean, which yeah. is great because you got you got the guy that plays Thor and Chris Evans, and they all yeah. have great bodies. And again, sure. to me, their bodies are more appealing than most of these guys that are on stage. And, but and what really gets me, I'll be honest with you, what really what I'm like wow about is the age, because Chris Hemsworth, he's young still, right? He's like in forties. It's a little bit easier in the 40s. And I'm in the 40s. Like, I'm not saying it's easy, but it's a little bit easier. When you start getting up, you get in those 50s, and I'm not there yet, so I don't know. 
But I, I'm telling you, for majority, not Michael Hearn or not Frank, but the oh, majority I, I, of people I, I, are I, not I, in that. They're not in that league, dude. They're just not in that league. They never will. But be that's what Frank said. He says, "Listen, I, 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 I don't play football. I don't play basketball. I'm not an athlete in that sense. I want to beat Father Time, and that's the reason." Um, or he spoke about it, but you go read the article. It's a great article. It really is a smart concept for somebody. Uh, and he's a guy that has to pop that top every single day. Um, and so there's a lot of factors to, to his mindset of going, I want to be like still, which I love. I love the fact that he's 60 and he's going, I want to be this when I'm 80. When most people are like, I'm 35. Can I still get better? It's like holy sheesh, what is wrong with you? It's, it's you know it's so for anybody out there, really try to live your best life today. And we said it before, today's the youngest you're ever going to be in your life. You're only getting older. And Johnny's point about, and I agree, unless you're getting better, you're going backwards because life doesn't work that way. You are getting older. It's harder. You got to stay ahead of it and got to stay smart. And Titan Medical helps you stay smart and ahead of the game. Absolutely. Big example I could name of that too, if you want to get a vision vision of it, is if you put your money in the bank, it sits there. You don't touch it. Same amount of money. The next year, you've actually lost money. You've actually regressed. Why? Because inflation. So inflation does not account for that unless you make that amount of percentage of money to get back to where you were. So the exact same thing if you're thinking about it. You know, I mean, it's it's all about that. So think about it this way, too, is like you put your money in the bank and you leave it there, but then you marry a real rich woman and then you just upped it. Now, Titan Medical is the rich woman. So now yes. you just up the level and you get to keep yes. your money and then you get to have her <laughs> money and then you get to have both money and then you get the Lamborghinis and the pipes like this. And then you look like a freak walking around. I'm just saying, metaphor. It's a chain effect. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> I love it. Go for I it. love it. Let's get let's get one more before I let you go. All right, cool. Forty-year-old wife in pre-menopause and symptoms: struggling with heavy periods, fatigue during them. Hot flash is another big one. John, what would you recommend to start with? First thing we're gonna do, James. Let's get her a blood test, full and dead blood test. Let's see where all these things are at. Obviously, if she's a pre-menopause and she's having these red flag symptoms, hot flashes, right? Fatigue, heavy periods, we can help that. And that could be a number of different things. Her estrogen could be too low, there's right? Another, there's a lighter blue. Her testosterone might be too low. Progesterone might be too low. Some things you might need to adjust. It's very simple to do, very easy to adjust. But the first step, James, was to get the blood test to see what's going on exactly. You have the results, you have the numbers, and now we can make an educated decision about what kind of regimen we need to put her on to get her the results and get her away from these negative things like, you know, fatigue, hot flashes, because like I said before, if people don't feel good, they're not going to be in the best mood. They're not going to be their best self. Right. So when your girl is not feeling good, right. Or she's naggy or aggy, she's going to, you know, that could wear off a little bit on, on the, on the guy. I know a lot of guys that go through this. So, and that's why they usually contact me like, John, listen, my wife is just, She's usually out of control, but she's super out of control. Like, I don't know what's wrong with her, man. So I need to get her set up for a blood test to see what's going on, and you guys tell me what to do. So that's what we'll do, literally. I get it all the time. And I get it from, from girls, like wives and girlfriends too as well. Like my husband, he's just irrational. Or I'll get him like, hey, you know, it's just not happening anymore like it used to. We need to get him fixed up. So it, it's okay. Like if, you're, if your spouse is having problems, don't just let it go by because that will make the problems even worse. Literally talk to them about what's going on. Communication is key. It's key in anything you do from business to relationships and everything in between. Communication it, it, like this. If a patient called Tight Medical Center and had a problem and I talked to them on the phone, I'm like, hey, call me back in 20 minutes. They call me back in 20 minutes, I don't answer the phone. They call back the next day, I don't answer the phone. I'm like, Man, what the hell is going on? But if they called me and I was like, hey, call me back in 20 minutes, and I picked up in 20 minutes, they're going to be like happy as hell. But if I don't, they're going to be pissed if they don't talk to me. It's about communication. Like if I had to say, um, you know, I don't know where your medication's at. Um, I'm going to check with the pharmacy. I'll get back to you. And you don't communicate with them. They're going to be pissed off. If you say, you know what? I just talked to the pharmacy. 
and it should be there tomorrow, they're going to be happy to sell. It's communication and establishing communication directly with the person that you want to will solve a lot of your problems. I mean, that definitely has helped me through my years for sure. It's a lot of things that people need to, they really need to work on. A lot of people don't communicate well. They don't. They get frustrated, irritated, um, anything in between. It just really depends on the situation. And they just they don't communicate. They clash or they walk away. Really quick. We got uh, one more big one for you. I have a question. Sure. The people, the uh, therapy of the week. Oh, here we go. The Titan Trifecta. This therapy package includes three of our most powerful Titan therapies. Feel like a true Titan with optimal health. Boost energy, strengthen your immune system with Titan Complete. Increase recovery and stamina. Plus, get that out of this world pump with Hercules Potion. And then add in some fat burning and mental clarity effects with our ECA Stack Plus. You now have a triple threat. But you have to act now because this special ends this week on 12 13 24. And to get the discount, you got to use the discount code Titan Trifecta. So if you're looking to feel, look, and perform your best, this is the combination for you. No blood work's needed for all three of those therapies. Uh, and they all, each one of them have a number of different benefits that you're going to benefit from. And the big, big discount is on that. It's $4.90 for all three products. Two of those products alone, Titan Complete and Hercules Potion, are usually $275 a piece. That's $550 usually just for those two. And then you're going to add on at least $60 or $90 bucks for the ECAs, depending on what kind of dose you get, high dose and whatever. This is established to get the high dose if you need it. If you need the low dose, you can get that too as well. But at that point, this is a killer, killer deal. And you're going to get a lot of benefits. And it's all natural as far as that goes. The amino acids, like... Glutamine, arginine, ornithine, lysine, alcitrulline, proline, taurine, NAC, and L-carnitine. And then all the great things that are coming in Titan Complete from Mick, B-complex, uh, L-carnitine, and the branched chain amino acids. So you're getting a lot of bang for the buck. The ECAs are just going to give you a lot of energy, mental clarity, and help you stay lean. Mm. Johnny, thank you. Felt like a superhero movie. I appreciate it. Thank I love you. it. Man. I love it. I appreciate you got me on as always, man. Thank you, guys. It's so, thank you, so good to chop it up. You have, it. have a good day. Tremendously. I'll talk to you yeah. soon. Talk to you, buddy. You guys yes, get on over there. Hit up Titan Medical. Uh, you can see my right there, titanmedical.com. All right. Get on over there. Find out what you need to do. Get your blood work done and uh, be a superhero, just like Johnny. All right. You guys enjoy the day. We'll see you next week.